are back. I am Jaylene Mack, and we are live here on KYND on the Dr. D. Young uh, Reality Check Doctor Show here on KYND AM 1520. Please make sure that you are following us on all social media. And uh, if you want to call in during this segment or any of our segments, the phone number is 832-230-5592. We have a very special guest with us today, Dr. D. Who am I sitting next to? Hey, this is, if anybody was checking out that highlight film that was called Robert Reed, I taught him everything. You know? <laughs> and that was the first time yeah. I've seen Calvin Murphy wear something that didn't look like yeah, a yeah, yeah, Williams yeah, it like a clown designed it. <laughs> no, on the real, man, dude. But um, well, would you believe if that was in 81, the first game, the championship, uh -huh. and I was 24 years old, now I'm 61. Thank God wow. I still got my hair. Yes, you know? yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know what? Right. He keeps forgetting we work out in the same gym. You know I'm going to be standing over you, you when know, you got your right. weights, right? You know, that's right. But let me, before we go on, I got to say what that y'all were talking about, who stays with who the longest. Mm -hmm. My thing is, like the song says, if you can't cook no cornbread, can't mm. cook no grits, there you go. can't okay. cook no gumbo yeah. and a pot of red beans, yes, you ain't the one for me. Oh, he wow. must be on Louisiana yeah. women. Well, all right. See. <laughs> nice yeah. to know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's stay real. You got to cook for me. Yes. Well, yes, you gotta like, the from looks of that, somebody fed you. Yeah. But I gotta ask you something, <laughs> yes, man. Yes, sir. So here you are. You're a kid in high school, and you find you make it to college because I, I know you did some good stuff in school. But one day you get a phone call that changes your life. What was that day like? Well, you know, really, in all honesty, I was a military brat. Mm -hmm. Born in Atlanta, started school in Greece for three years. Fort Meade, Maryland, mm -hmm. Albany, Georgia, San Antonio, mm -hmm. Honolulu, then back to a little town called Shirts, Texas, right outside New Braunfels, mm -hmm. okay, population 900. So I grew up around GIs okay. the whole time. Yeah. And, you know, my dad retired as a master sergeant, so there was stability right then and there. You right. knew right then and there how you had to act. And when I went to Sammy Clemens, and I was only six feet point guard mm -hmm. and then when I signed with St. Mary's I showed up August 15th 6 8 you grew eight walls in three months yes that's those red and beans you're right, red beans right. Red. Mom, that was mama's cooking <laughs> that was you awesome. know wow but and then the thing that really helped was St. Mary's in San Antonio mm -hmm. they recruited GIs on the GI Bill right so right then and there we didn't have time to be the wet behind the ear freshman. We had to be men going up and down the floor and how to carry ourselves off the floor. That was the most important part. Mm -hmm. And when I got that call from the Rockets, mm -hmm. okay, the 40, 40 player pick, I'm saying, wow. But here's the crazy part I wasn't supposed to make the team. Oh. I was not supposed to be a Houston Rocket. They already had 19 players. There was only 11 players on the team, okay? There was only, uh, uh, there wasn't 30 teams, and Moochie can tell you when he comes on, there was only 19 teams. Wow. Dale Harris comes to me and he says, Bobby, the only reason we got you is because your athletic ability to push Rudy T. Mm. But you're not going to make the team. So here's my question. There are a lot of people that are looking at this show right now, and their circumstances, mm -hmm are trying to define them, but they know better. Something inside, uh, I, I remember Tyler Perry saying, you know, this voice just wouldn't let me go. Right. So what was it that you were hearing that was incubating in your spirit that said, I may be the 40th person picked, but I'm going to be one of the well, five that's on there. Well, the first thing yeah. I said was, okay, every night we scrimmage, I want Rudy T. Mm -hmm. So I went from 19 to 17, 17 to 15, 15 to 13, mm -hmm. and then the last night we were playing, you know, we scrimmaged, we, our gym was at the summit then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thomas Salker was standing at the half court. He says, okay, everybody come around. This is who we're going to open up with tomorrow. So I'm standing, I go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. And then I got ready to get excited. I said, no, you're around these vets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I chill and. Well, I took a couple more shots afterwards, and then when I got to the hotel, 
ordered my room service and looked down the hallway, shut the door. Thank you, Jesus! I'm <laughs> you gotta let loose. You gotta let go, yeah. let go. Yeah. Won't he do it? But yeah. but and then from there, you know, with with Rudy, Calvin, Big Mo, Lucas, and uh, Dwight Jones, mm -hmm. uh, those guys pulled my coattail a lot. Mm -hmm. And then when you got Dr. J, George Gervin, Connie Hawkins, yes. Spencer Haywood, Walt Frazier, and then the biggie was when he came out the game in L.A. There was Jerry West, and and there was a uh, 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 Will Chamberlain. Here's what every one of them said to me: Read, even though you came out from a small NEIA school, right. you got one cocky sob attitude mm. when you're on the floor. Mm -hmm. But here's the one thing that you need to know and do. When that game's over with, you leave number 50 in the locker room. You don't, you do not bring 50 out in the street. Now, now explain what that means because a lot of us are looking at this, and I don't care if it's Keisha doing hair, or you are an athlete, or you just got a new job somewhere, or you got your lead role in a play or a significant part in a movie. It what does that mean? Basically, mean is this: it's two o'clock in the morning. You coming in from town? You get pulled over. You don't tell the man, don't you know who I am? Right. You know, I'm, I'm just like everybody yeah. else. Mm -hmm. You got to remember the grandmother you used to cut yard for, the mailman that you used to sit and let go over the scholarship letters, the lady that you would help sack groceries. You know, you kept you kept it real. Mm -hmm. So the hashtag is. I'm just like everybody else. I'm just else. like everybody else. That's the hashtag. That, that, that's yeah, the best yeah. part. And, and, and you're like, in our gym, I'm going to tell you, folks, in our gym, Fitness Connection, the best part I got is Doc, the trainers, mm -hmm. the grandparents that are there yeah. that you talk to before you lift, mm -hmm. and they ask you, how you doing? Mm -hmm. How's the keep family you grounded. doing? Yeah. They keep you grounded. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Speaking to the youth out there that desire to be a pro athlete, but they don't get to go to a D1 school. Mm -hmm. They have to go to a junior college or, or a D3, D2 school, but their desire is to go D1 because they think this is where I got to be in order to get looked at for the pros. What do you say to them? You don't, you know, you don't have to worry about a D1. The scouts know where you're at. Okay. There's, back in the day, Sam Houston State, Stephen F. Austin, okay, Texas A&I, SMU, Baylor and all were afraid to play St. Mary's and all because we could hoop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There were some good players. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a chance to get, you know, my thing is, like when I say talk to kids at the, at the church the day we mm -hmm. were down there, all you want is just let me get my foot in the door. Because yes. yeah. once yeah. I got that foot in the door, here comes that leg. Yeah, yeah. Right. You right. Do it right. And I get that leg in, yeah. that arm's in, mm -hmm. and now I got that left arm pushed. So mm -hmm. that's all you ask for just mm -hmm. let let me show you what i can mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. yeah. so it, it goes to the definition of success is preparation yes, yes. meeting the opportunity yes. now now because Not i really want to use good time on this mm -hmm. what do you say to people when the sunlight's not on you anymore, the sun is setting in your career, and it's time to do your new thing. Matter of fact, we're going to take a break and come back okay. with that. We're here with Robert Reed. This is Dr. D. Von Young, the reality check doctor on the Synergy Broadcasting Network. We'll be right back. Yeah.